The good, the bad, and the ugly about WLED segments. We're gonna talk about it in this video, but before we do that, I'm gonna go over the WLED controller that I'm using for this project, and that is the Dig Quad by Dr. Z's himself. The Dig Quad here I'm using is the Wi-Fi version. Which you see here, it's a ESP32 option. It comes with different uh, devices here if you want the onboard antenna which is what we're using the external antenna or the ethernet add-on board each has their own advantage so it does not come with power you would need to do that uh, with its own power but then he has his own calculator here if you want to do this for an outside display of permanent led lights anyway there is that and we're going to move on to segments itself so as you see, I have a three jersey wall up here and I am controlling them with segments. As you see, only a few lights in each LED uh, display that I made. And I have 10 uh, LEDs in each section. So I'm going to delete them and show you how to make them from scratch. Now they're all gone. You notice right away that I have everything orange, everything green, everything blue, everything pink, just as needed. If I want to start a segment, I will change my first segment, if I can remember how I had them, to Broncos. I'm gonna make it zero to 10. And we're going to start. So now you notice the Broncos are orange, as they should be. There they are, green and yellow. And the other two jerseys are off. Okay, so let's add another segment. Now, which one was this? I believe it was Rams. And we're going to do another 20. And the Rams are populated. Now, you notice I have both of these selected. Okay, so what happens if I make them green? They're both green. What happens if I don't want the Rams to turn a different color? Now I can turn the Broncos to yellow and not affect my Rams at all. That's helpful right now and that's exactly what I want to happen, but if you're trying to adjust both of these, especially if you're doing, let's say, an effect, let's make it brighter to where you can really see this, if you're going to do, let's say, maybe bouncing balls, and you have this and this one, and you want this effect to go on both of them, you're going to be wondering why it's not happening. Because this one's not selected. Not too bad on the display here of, um, sorry, of the computer. But if you're on a phone, it's a different screen, so you're not gonna find this as easy. Now, also, if I go and go ahead and select this, that doesn't automatically update it. You notice I'm still green on RAMs. You almost have to select off of that, and I'll come back to bouncing balls to have the same results. Fix it, make it blue, background is green, and now you'll notice it. Because if you paid attention to the next one here, I'm gonna add the Colts in here. That one's now white. I didn't tell it to do anything, so it still thinks it just needs to be white. Okay, so let's go ahead and select the blink. Back to bouncing balls. Well now, you notice the Colts segment was never told it needs to be blue and green like the Rams and the Broncos segment. So you may think that's supposed to be updating, but it's not because you've never told it to be. So it it's kind of, I wouldn't say it's screwed up in a way, but it also doesn't automatically switch to where it needs to be. So my green and blue, if I want that to happen on the Colts, you need to make sure all three of these are selected. Or better yet, you can turn off the Broncos and Rams and you'll see exactly what the Colts segment is being told to do on bouncing balls. I don't need these selected right now because they're already green and blue. So if I take those off, 
Okay, I'll make the background, make sure it's selected and highlighted green and blue. So now I'm green and blue. And if I hit the rest of them, now I can mess the colors up as needed and they'll all act correctly. We can set up all the colors as needed and work with the segments. So it is super helpful when operating correctly. And as you saw at the beginning of this video, I like when the Broncos are orange, on well, solid that is. I like when the Rams are, now make sure you turn this off. See if I go in here and I make the Rams yellow, I also made the Broncos yellow. But what are the Rams doing right now? You notice how the Rams are doing their own different effect. You see how they're barely moving? Because it's on Aurora. That's what it was last selected. So see, segments can really mess you up many, many times. It's very easy to see here on a small project on what can go wrong and how to fix it. But when you put this on a house and you got hundreds and hundreds or sometimes thousands of LEDs and you're up there counting and trying to make sure you got the right one, it gets a bit confusing. Now I'm gonna put the Colts back to solid and we'll make good old Peyton Manning white. There you go. Do you have any questions? Because seg segments can be a lot of fun, especially if you wanna make peaks on houses but you gotta make sure that you have things selected. Remember what's selected, because once again, if I go ahead and I hit all of these and I want to do a chase three, let's make it a white. Actually, that's not even taken right. So we're gonna make it pink, make it green and white. Once again, the colors, I wasn't going through on how exactly what happened there, but the colors weren't, well, well, that's because Aurora was selected. So you hit default, and then you grab these colors, right? So if I go back here and I pick Aurora, that's where your colors are changing. But in autumn, the colors are changing. So you also gotta make sure on your defaults, if you want these colors to be used, hit your default setting, or you can go through the effects over here. So now if I turn off Broncos, I turn off the Rams, and I want Colts to just be a solid white again, that's fixed. But now watch, I'm gonna keep Colts selected. Now watch what happens. I pick Rams, and I'm on chase three. Okay, well now let's act like I forget the Colts are selected. Okay, so now I wanna go and I want solid and I want orange. Well now I mess up the Colts section because I forgot the Colts was selected. So now I wanna deselect the Rams and select Colts. Now you make it white. Once again, deselect the Colts. Now I'm gonna go up to the Broncos jersey now you see he's still doing his thing. He's got the chase three going on, blue, green, and white. We're gonna make him orange and solid. And now he's back that way he should be. You can also turn these off completely and still have them selected. And that's where it gets a little more confusing because if they're off, and I turn them all to a different color. Let's see what happens here. So I turn them all to pink and they're on solid. Now if I turn them all on, once again, because they were selected, even though they were off, they changed their color. So you may have thought you had them off and nothing happened, but because you had them selected, you change the colors and it messes it up. So the good thing about the segments is you can do exactly what you want per the segment of uh, your house, or for this example, my three different jerseys. The bad part is things can get messy really fast and really confusing 
and really, really aggravating if you don't catch it and watch it that you're doing. So the best way to practice with segments is exactly like we're doing here. Make a small project, one that you're close to, one that you don't have to get up and down on a ladder for, and just mess around with it. Because when it all doesn't work, reset segments. But see, I went ahead and saved my presets with the segments. So on my preset, you'll save your segments as is. So if I want to set another preset, make sure you click save segment bounds and you'll click this, you'll save all the segments that you already had in there. So when you load that preset, you'll be right back to where you were. If that's what you wanted to do. Once again, if you screw it up, when you screw it up, reset segments and start over. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe. Glad you stuck around. Thanks for finding my channel.